during the collection of dead electronic items from my friends, uh, one of my friend named Santoshi gave me this dead LED light which is used for decorational purpose and he told me that uh, it stopped working. So let's see if I can try to repair it and make it work. Let's start by opening up the circuit. There are two pins behind the bulb which on removing the circuit comes out loose. So as you can see there is a loose end here. Uh, the wire must have come off from the project fire circuit. This is a transformerless LED driver circuit. Let's connect this back and let's test the LED then. So I connected the LED bulb and as you can see the light is pretty dim and she told me that uh, when she bought it uh, the LEDs would blink in red and blue but as you can see it's now only showing red. So maybe the, the problem is with the capacitor or the budget fire. So we'll open this back and try to repair the circuit. The resistor and the electrolyte capacitor look fine. So the problem must be either with the uh, 0.47 microfarad capacitor or the project fire. The circuit is similar to my previous projects of transformerless LED driver circuits. I have rebuilt the circuit on a breadboard and found that this uh, capacitor of 0.47 microfarad was dead and I replaced that with a new capacitor which, is, which has the same rating as uh, the old one. I have used the 220 ohm resistor from the old circuit and uh, while building the circuit I am going to keep the project fire same, I won't change the project fire and I have also changed the LEDs uh, and I also added an extra 100 ohm resistor near the LEDs to protect the LEDs from current search. Now I will switch on the circuit and show you. So as you can see I have replaced the old blinking type LEDs red blue blinking type LEDs with multicolor LEDs because I felt that uh, blink multicolor LEDs would be more beautiful. Now I'll connect the circuit back replacing only the LEDs and the 0.47 microfarad capacitor. I'll keep all the remaining components same. The bulb had three LEDs before and now uh, I'm keeping only two multicolor LEDs in place of three blinking LEDs. The turners of the new capacitors were really short, so I soldered two small pieces of wires to extend the LEDs. The 100 ohm resistor of 1 watt wouldn't fit inside the casing of the bulb, so I replaced it with a quarter watt 100 ohm resistor. Now I'll fit the whole circuit back into the bulb casing. While testing, the fuse of my extension box blew as some terminal inside the bulb got shorted. So I opened up the bulb back and insulated the terminals properly using some insulation tape. And for the final test, it works. And it looks more beautiful than before and even attractive. The sequence of the lights change because the multicolor LEDs are programmed to do so. It looks more beautiful at night. And for the final step, branding. We'll stick this Electronics Made Easy label over the bulb. So we have brought a dead LED bulb back to life and it looks more beautiful now.
Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel for my future videos.